Barbara Johnson and Mr. Johnson, I take it your relatives. Yes. yes You're yes. suing each other. Uh, no, Ms. Johnson is suing your mother for six hundred dollars. Yes, I am, Your Honor. Why are you bringing your mother to court? Your Honor, this woman has made my life a living. You know what? I'm suing her today for this woman. Yes, this woman. Referring to the defendant, Miss Annie Johnson, the Referring one who gave birth to, her to you. Yes. That's what you refer to her? Yes, this woman. Well, I tell you what, you won't refer to her like that anymore in this court. Okay, well, I'll refer to her as Miss Johnson if that's yeah. okay with you. It's fine with me, but not this woman, baby. We don't play that here. She deserves much more respect than that. Whether you realize it or not, she does. Okay, go on. Now you're going to refer to her as Miss Johnson since you don't want to say mom. No, I can't call her mom. I don't feel connected to her. All right. Tell me your story. She showed up to my job in a place that she has no place to be in, making a whole ruckus, and pretty much got me sit home on the day that I make the most amount of money. And now I lost $600. But not only that, I lost my life, the life that I have been creating for myself since I left her. I've been trying to get away from her ever since I was younger. Growing up with a mother like her is not easy. Why? Look at her. We don't look anything alike. Nothing. I don't even well, know. Okay, stop. You told me to look at her. I'm going to look at her. Now look at you. Yeah, look you at You don't me. look anything alike. No. Why? Why do you say that? She has that dark skin. Oh. Ooh. Lord, help me. Jesus, come here. Okay, she has that dark skin. So, so what? What do you have? I have light skin. And so mothers and daughters and families don't come in different shades? Oh, yeah, that's great. But I realized growing up that people with that kind of skin has it a little bit harder. And, you know, I worked really hard just to keep my life as easy as possible. Okay, you need to hurry up and explain yourself to me. Your Honor. Growing up with a dark mother was so embarrassing. All of my friends were white. Uh, Everybody was white. Where did you grow up? The guys I dated were white. Where did you grow up? My friends were white. Alabama. And what? How old are you? Your Honor, I'm 25 years old. So what part of Alabama did you grow up in that all your friends were white? Birmingham. In Birmingham. And you're 25 years old. Yeah. Which means that that was in what? 1990 something you were born? 1990. And all your friends were white. Yes. So if you grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, and all your friends were white, you didn't grow up with your mother? She was barely around. She she was busy cleaning up after white people. Ooh. I didn't want to live that poor life. Mrs. John, when this child of yours was born, that's over here. Yes, sir. Where were you living? We were living in Alabama, Your Honor, and I was um, cleaning houses for a living, Your Honor, and so we uh, ended up living with different white families as I had my job there. So that's why she said all her friends were white? Yes, ma'am. And she went to school, she went to school in the area of the families, I mean, the families that you lived and worked for, she went to school there? Yes, ma'am. And yes, do you realize and understand why you were able to do that? Yes, because she was poor and uneducated, and so I had to live a life of struggling. And like I said, I tried, once I got away from her, I tried my best not to live that kind of life. So how did you get away from her? I earned a enough money to get away from her, and I started dating this white guy who, whose family had a lot of money. At what age? 16. And then you changed your life? I mean, you changed your identity? Yes, I went to something? college. I got an education, All something right. that she does not have. You won't see And is that her fault that she doesn't have an issue? Yes. Why? She's her own woman. I'm not her mother. You say you went to college? Yes. You sound like an ignorant fool. Doesn't matter. You don't sound like a college educated woman. You didn't learn anything about history. Did you take a history class? Sure did. You didn't learn a doggone thing. Because if you don't understand why your mother was working where she was working and doing the kind of work that she did and did not get a college education, it's because you don't understand your history and what went on in America during her age, a woman in the 60s, a 60 and over. And you have the audacity to turn down your nose at her 
for doing what she could to keep your little behind alive and well. I just don't live my life as a black person, so 